Hi, Miss Williams here today. And guess what? It's my turn to read you guys a story. So today we're going to read The Longest Yarn. I love summer camp. There's so much to do. Swimming lessons, art and crafts, kickball, and my absolute favorite, drama class. I want to be an actor someday. I want to be on the cover of a magazine. I want people to ask for my autograph. That's why I listen hard when Mr. Zane speaks. Mr. Zane is an actor. He was in a TV commercial once. He's a drama teacher. Today he's telling us about how to be emotional. We must reach deep inside and let feelings pour out. We can be happy or sad or scared or angry. It's all very interesting. So I am shocked, yes, shocked when it happens. I feel it coming on. I can't stop it. I yawn, mm, a big yawn. I see into my mouth yawn, a cheek stretching, jaw cracking yawn. It's the longest yawn ever. Mr. Zane fixes his laser eyes on me. Mr. Barry Moore, he pauses. Am I boring you? The word boring goes on and on. My face turns red. I can't help that either. No, Mr. Zane, you're amazing, but I had to yawn, really. I couldn't help it. I can tell that Mrs. Zane doesn't believe me. I am sad and I'm not acting. I feel bad because Mrs. Zane doesn't call on me for the rest of the class. When he talks about our big show, he doesn't even look at me and I'm the star. Well, I'm one of the stars, I guess. Alice is important too, but without the white rabbit, where would she be? Not down the rabbit hole, that's for sure. Not in Wonderland. The next morning at drama class, I made myself a promise. Today, I will be perfect. At first, everything goes well. We pretended to be rocks. We pretended to be tigers. We pretended to be flowers waving in the wind. And I don't yawn once. Then we started making backgrounds for the play. They're called sets. Don't ask me why. Abby and I are painting the garden set. Just as I'm dabbling paint on the roses, I feel a tickle in my nose. I try to hold it back. It's not a yawn, it's a sneeze. The paint can in my hand goes flying. Red paint from my brush splats all over the place in the wall. And guess what, y'all? Guess who? Mr. Zane, yes. To make things worse, I sneeze again, a huge sneeze. It knocks me backwards. I step in the paint pan and splash the purple paint all over the place. Mr. Zane is not happy. I couldn't help it, I tell him. Very, very, very. Mr. Zane shakes his head and holds out his hand. An actor must be in control at all times. He gives me a look. I feel about two inches tall. How can I be an actor if I can't stop a sneeze or a yawn? That night I go online. I type in yawn, I type in sneeze. Guess what I found out? You really can't help sneezing and yawning. These things just happen. The most you can do is make them less loud. For now on, I will try to swallow the yawn or sneeze a polite little sneeze. The next day I walked into drama class with a good feeling. We're going over our lines. Alice goes first, then the Mad Hatter, then the Red Queen. Finally, it's my turn. I have to give a very important I'm late speech. Mrs. Zane is watching me like a hawk. I hold up my big cardboard pocket watch and look at it. I'm late, I say. I half walk, half hop across the stage. I'm late for hiccup. Oh no, hiccups are the worst. They can go on forever. I try again. I'm late for my meeting with Hiccup, Hiccup. Everyone in the class starts laughing. Everyone, but you named it, Mr. Zane. He throws up his hand in total disgust. Barry, what am I going to do with you? He demands, you must learn control. But Mr. Zane, Hiccup, I can't control Hiccup. I read about it last night, Hiccup. It's an involuntary reflex. Hiccup. You just can't stop it. Hiccup. Mr. Zane rolls his eyes. 
Mind over matter, Barry. You can do it. I know you can. Mrs. Zane doesn't understand. The rest of the kids give their speeches. Meanwhile, I try to stop hiccuping. I drink water. I hold my nose to swallow. Nothing works. Finally, the hiccups go away all on their own. I give my speech again at the end of class, and I must say, I perform it perfectly. I just hope I can do it as well in the show with no yawns or sneezes or hiccups. The days fly by. We finish the costumes. We learn how to work the lights. We paint the rest of the sets. We find props. We practice and we practice and practice. I know all the words when, when to come in and when to leave. I know where to stand. Mrs. Zane teaches a lot of good things, like how to speak so that even people in the last row can hear every word. And then it's time, time for the big show. Am I nervous? Would you guys be nervous? I would. Gosh, yes. But I'm excited too. When I go on stage in my rabbit ears and my rabbit tail, it's the best moment of my life. Everyone is looking at me. I make them laugh. I don't forget the words and I don't yawn or hiccup or sneeze. From backstage, I hear Mr. Zane whisper, Bravo, Barry. I will be a real actor someday. I know it. The show is over. We go out and take our bows. The crowd claps like crazy. We bow again. Mr. Zane comes out. First, I want to thank my talented actors, he says. Mr. Zane called us talented. We all smile. That would make me feel good to you guys. They started out as showbiz beginners. They had to learn everything about acting, including control, and they did. In my eyes, they are all stars and we're going to many great F fabulous. All of a sudden, I hear a huge, uh-oh, you guys. What you guys think it is? <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. For a second, I'm afraid it's me, but it isn't. And it isn't Alice or the Mad Hatter or the Red Queen. You guys, guess who it was? It's Mr. Zane. Mr. Zane burped in front of all of our parents. He turns bright red and the theater is quiet. Don't worry, Mrs. Zane, I yell. Burping is an involuntary reflex. You can't control it. <laughs> Everyone cracks up, all the kids and all the parents too. I'm laughing so hard, my side hurt. Even Mr. Zane starts laughing. After a while, you're right, Barry, he says. Sometimes you just can't help it. And guess what? That is the end of my story. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading for today. Bye.